I'm going to say something because I know everyone is afraid to speak up. So I'll be your freedom fighter. I'll be your dead and Kimathi. I'll be your... Uyo wa mmiti alikuwa naitwa. Hello, I'm Rafa Ngutusi if you're new here and welcome to yet another episode of Campus Grains where I give you more value for your time and today with me is Majimbo from Majimbo Clothing. Mm -hmm. So just a brief introduction to who you are and what you do to those who might not know you so well. Okay, so my name is Elsa Majimbo. Yeah. Um, I'm in Strathmore, I do journalism. I'm a first year student. Yeah. Um, my line is called Naked and Clothed. Um, mm -hmm. I sell clothes to like younger guys. I try to appeal to the younger people, the younger generation. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first question that personally I have for you mm -hmm. is is it Majimbo clothing or naked and clothed? It used to be Majimbo clothing yeah. initially, but then I felt like that was too personal because I'm trying to reach young girls throughout Nairobi. It's yeah. not it's not just a Majimbo clothing. Yeah. It should be like for everyone. So uh, for me, mm -hmm. I like dressing how I want. That's how it is for me. I like um, showing off a bit of skin, you know, dressing how I want without being judged by anyone. Yeah. And I felt like in our society, especially in Nairobi, like people are so conservative and they judge others so much based on how you dress. Yeah. So I want everyone to feel comfortable with how they're dressed. So whether, yeah. whether you're naked or clothed, you should always feel comfortable. Mm. That's nice, that's so creative. Mm -hmm. It's quite creative, yeah. honestly. <laughs> okay, so it has a, it's 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 quite new. How long has it been? Um, a month. Now. It's been a month now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are your aspirations for it? Um, initially it was just to get money. I will not lie, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, uh -huh. being a university girl is so hard. It is yeah. so hard. But I've gotten so much motivation from my family, from my friends. And that's how I mean you're gonna do great things with this. So yeah. I wanna push it harder to become bigger. Yeah. Um now I've gone out of Nairobi, now I'm reaching to Mombasa. Now I even sell to people in Mombasa nice. and the coast. So I want it to go bigger and bigger and bigger. Nice. Till it reaches its peak. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how what what's the main way in which you show your products to people? Um, Instagram. Yeah. Um, I've taken Instagram as my platform. I've even reached a couple of people from some of the girls who follow me to tell them, would you like to model? Some of them have approached me and have asked me, can I please model for you? And if anyone wants, like that's so welcome because mm -hmm. my brand is for everyone. It's just not for me. It's not just for the people I follow, not just for my friends. It's for everyone. So yeah. Nice. Okay. So. Did you, um, when you're when you're now starting it off, did you need funding for it? Um, now that yeah, I did not need as much funding because um, my parents have this thing mm -hmm. we call it shopping syndrome. My parents are always buying clothes that we do not need in the house. Yeah, and they buy them over and over and over again. So uh -huh. like we just had like a bunch of clothes mm -hmm. that no one in the house has ever worn. So yeah, that was the base I started with. I started off with those clothes, but then I realized um, they're not really the trends that are with us right now. Yeah. So um, the money I got from my first sales, mm -hmm. I used them to buy more clothes for now the clothes I currently have. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you get how do you get the clothes to the people? Um, I delivered to some of them personally. Um, some of them I sent someone. There's a delivery guy who can bring it to some mm -hmm. of the people who are mm -hmm. too far out of my reach. And then like to the coast, um, that one I will put it like on a bus, deliver it to the bus or something like that. Cause mm -hmm. I can't go to the coast yeah, yeah. to deliver. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so most probably as time keeps going, mm -hmm. things get bigger. Yeah. And as things get bigger, maybe more f a bigger financial responsibility. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on how you are going to hack that? How to hack the financial side of it all? Um, for me, um, okay, I did accounts yeah. at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. And I can say I learned one or two things. It yeah. wasn't really my cup of tea, so I yeah. I, I let it go. Uh -huh. But I can say I learned one or two things. So I can always put my assets and liabilities. And it's so easy for me to know if I'm making a loss or a profit. 
and it's easy for me to put aside my profits to make more with what I have and I'd say it's not in this in what I'm doing it's really hard to make a loss it's quite hard to make a loss mm -hmm. so financial accountability is there but it doesn't require that much responsibility mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so when it comes to now giving your product out to people, mm -hmm. how how do you convince someone that this is actually what you'll get? Because um, of late, or as usual, there have been issues and cases whereby you look at this product and it's a bit different from what you actually get on the ground. Okay, yeah? it's, that's very true. And I have trust, I've established trust with some of my customers yeah. and I've all even told them like beforehand, um, if you're not happy with the product, I'm more than willing to take it back and I will refund you the money and for any inconvenience, I would apologize. I have not yeah. had such a case um, until now, yeah. but um, I take full responsibility because it's my product yeah. and the client is putting that trust in me and they're trusting yeah. me to give them what they have asked for. So any inconvenience, I take it upon myself yeah. to do as much as I can to make it up to you. Great. Mm. Now when it comes to now pricing your products, mm. are you getting help when it comes to pricing your products or how are you deciding how you're going to price a certain piece? Um, okay, uh, some of them, like the things I think that are more fashionable, I put higher prices on them, but like things that look basic and they're just chill and calm and like just a calm vibe, mm -hmm. I put like cheaper prices and the pricing is according to how much I'll buy the product. Of yeah. course, I have to make a profit, so yeah. if I buy such a price, I'll, I'll put maybe 100 shillings higher, you know, 150 shillings higher, so that I can also make my profit. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which other ways are you trying to, or are you thinking of trying to put more of your products out there or to get more people to know about them? Um, yeah, I, I definitely want a bigger, a bit a, a bigger crowd, like, yeah. uh, like more clients, you know, uh, more, co more consumers. So um, I've really tried that. I've told people to tell their friends, yeah, put yeah. on their Instagram stories. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm even convincing guys to buy some of the girl clothes for like their sisters, their girlfriends. Mm -hmm. So I definitely want more consumers. And mm -hmm. right now I have adequate, but I would like a bigger playing field because, as I said, my product is for everyone. And I'd like everyone to just experience the naked and clothed experience. Nice. Just to feel nice, great, and confident. Nice. Mm -hmm. Makofi. <laughs> Alright, so like, other than telling your friends, is there any other idea that you've of how to get your work to more people? Um, I have not th my main platform is social media yeah. and I haven't thought of other platforms but I'm sure they will come to yeah. mind. Because I'm asking that in regards to the fact that mm -hmm. maybe the thought of a website you know yeah. so that when you get to a website you end up that's where you get every single thing mm -hmm. that's where you get to select this is clothing for men, this is clothing for ladies, yeah. you see. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a guy and I like what I like what you've been selling, I just go to your site instead of always scrolling down, but I have my own category over there. Um, yeah, I am actually working on that. I try that, but um, the websites have a few viruses and I'm trying to find just like a good website to have. Yeah. Will everyone can access without too much hassle. Nice. Yeah, but some of them I've tried are a bit virus ish. So it's all right. mm -hmm. well there is time because as you said it's just it's it, it's it's this it's just the starting phase mm -hmm. and there's time for more improvement. Yes. Yeah. So let's talk about campus now. Any aspirations campus related? Oh my god. Um, I am not if actually if so you know me if you know me personally you know I am not very big on books. Uh -huh. I am not big on lecturers sitting down and listening to someone lecture. Yeah. Uh, but I know like in the long run, even though education is really important. It is. Yeah. And I need it. Um, I might prosper in my closing line, but it might also fail. They, that's a possibility. I'm not trying to be negative, but it's a, yeah. it's there. Yeah. So, in as much as I'm with my clothing, I actually put my books as my first priority, nice. and my education is my first priority, 
and yeah i know i'll do well in education so that's when yeah i'm good so it's just it's just the knowledge of you doing better there's nothing specifically that you'd like to pursue maybe journalism related um actually related. journalism is this to be i want to be an advertiser and marketer oh, nice. i want to get into advertisement yeah and the base for that is journalism yeah Mm, so after this, when I'm now doing um, my masters, um, I'll have I'll do a masters in communication. I mean yeah. that's this marketing and advertisement, yeah. and I want to be one of the biggest advertisers and just do great things. Nice. Well, it's great having such ambition, honestly for sure. <laughs> all right. Um, I think I think we've covered it all. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, if you are new here, please 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 click that subscribe button. Be sure to check out some of my other videos with some of my other guests. And also head over to Instagram. Check out Majimbo Clothing, which is now naked and clothed. Yes. Alright? Check out the clothes that hit her up if you have anything. If you have any ideas, hit her up if you would like any specific thing. Mm -hmm. But basically that's been it for this conversation. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.